search for awareness, harness it and share it, spread the sensations of elevation. Let's ride this way, in all the way in towards ascension, while gaining comprehension of our contentments. When mind states are suspended, thoughts will be bent into the shapes most susceptible. What must be the ways and conventions in which we place attention? I want to change perceptions away from resentment, creating a selection of positive affections through introspection, divine spiritual connections, aligning our true intentions to send the truest messages in new directions. This is my new amendment, recreation, reinvention, more aware, more tendon, whispers, and barely mention what self-improvement is relentless, knowledge and abilities are endless. Let's find the next solution, then find the resolution, achieve success and retribution. Let's be the best to do it, or maybe it's best not lose it. I must confess confusion, this mess is fluid, always changing, it's a nuisance. When every nuance has newness to it, this foolishness I'm consumed with is obtrusive, but I'm getting through it. My heart speaks, I'm getting fluent, and now I get to prove it. So now you tune in, now tell me, are you human? That's all you need to join my movement, and we can keep it moving. I am who people move with, we are conducive to progress and solutions of the taint, fulfillment, and accrued. Those who are muted will be reputed in my music in a community of fluids until we are congruent. Keep your head up. We can do it. Together we can do it. If we continue this movement, we can prove the consciousness is imputed. It's something we are imbued with. We are born clueless and are becoming lucid with every day of this movement. Feel the energy of the universe. Feel the energy of the universe. Feel the energy of the universe. Every moment, every step, every breath, every seed, and every crest, every peak, and every trek. We can see what will be next, and then we will be blessed. Look inward to find yourself, then in this way find health, then a never ending wealth. Not material, but something else. Something that won't go on a shelf. A pearl deep inside my shell, a jewel that I will never sell. Now outward I reach to hear the universe speak through me and set me free. I am released into universal peace, yet I am still me. But now my vision is limitless at the same time, definitive. I'm at the rim of this universe we are existing in. Star formations, dark matter, radiation, all scatters and geometric patterns between Mars and Saturn to Earth. When we gather across the axis of our atlas and transpot these actions, enhancing our tactics of understanding the facets of this enigmatic and galactic lattice of solar dances and distant planets. Space is an ocean, swarming with commotion, both hopeful and expanding as we stand up free with amnesty, using every hand we can to be planting peace and planting seeds, managing our sweet Mother Earth's relief, her cycles beyond what we can see, beyond politics and policies, let us look deep into what we can be, the species in unity, whole and complete, the individual to the community, to the greater scheme, the infinitely repeating peace, connected metaphysically with the divinity to love and cheat to infinity, and this is only the beginning. And this is only the beginning. And this is only the beginning. The synodic thesis is not just something I'm conceiving or something I believe in, but something I am achieving. It's both exciting and relieving for me to be increasing in these energies. I let them release into the trees, changing what I can be to become a free and greater entity. Without greater enemies, really without anything, ascending endlessly, becoming aware of everything. People ask what it's like to be a poet. How'd I get started? How'd I get started? People ask what it's like to be a poet. How'd I get started? People ask what it's like to be a poet, how did I get started? I'm just a regular person expressing a hardship through words, but the words find me. I tuck them away nice and neat until I find the time to speak. You know me, you know my flow is neat, and I go complete, you'll notice me as I roam the streets through breezy leaves on my own season. The reason for procedures performing at my leisure, the pain reliever, striking like a cleaver, my rhymes thrill and spill beers. So leave your bill here, it's on me. No ghostwriter, it's on me. I can rap for three days and still bomb beats into smith and reeds. I'm coming up like a submarine up from underneath, ticking off like a balloon in the autumn breeze. Believe me, I can express any sentiment, any concept I wish to represent, any figure of speech or predicate, any particular prevalence I can articulate into sentences and I don't just mention it, I shine a light at the precipice to guide your ascent to this through these messages, I lay it out in the studio when I send it in, I lay it out in the studio and I send it in. 
People ask what it's like to be a poet. How do I get started? Just a regular person expressing a hardship through words. But the words find me. I tuck them away nice and neat until I find the time to speak. Come down to my level, it sounds a bit better If you're near me when I said it I read this article one time It reminded me to shine, it reminded me to rhyme It reminded me to climb, it reminded me to be Everything I am, it reminded me to stand For every cause that I can It reminded me to land humble and not to stumble Keep steady through the rumble, stay rough and tumble Everything crumbles, no need to grumble Remaining humble, I realized it wasn't an article I read But something I already said The eyes of the people I've helped Motivates me to write the stories I tell the eyes of the people I've helped motivates me to write these stories I tell. People ask what it's like to be a poet. How did I get started? I'm just a regular person expressing a hardship through words. But the words find me. I took them away nice and neat until I find the time to speak. What is my cause and my purpose? If I got paid what I deserved, if they told me I was worth it and that I earned it, I'd rather be alone and keep working. No team or lab, just a pencil and a pad and a phone with an open task. I write down these thoughts that I have. I do this for me to feel complete. Then these words will repeat. Available to me, I don't care if it's received. I'll just keep writing and reading until I believe that it's enough to make a difference. Then I'll step up in front of the whole world and spit it. My true goal is to inspire people to keep living, people keep learning. I want to inspire you to earn a happiness with yourself, a happiness you can tell about and share. I know it's there. Close your eyes and feel it. This energy I'm sending is real. It's hard to describe, but if I find the right words, I can bring it alive. That's why I write. I do it every night in a journal or a mic. I find myself in the language and lose myself in the music. I found myself in the language and lost myself in the music. In fact, quite often I do it. I connect with every verse that I disperse. I want to make myself heard and change the world through these words. But I wanted to show you first. People ask what it's like to be a poet. How did I get started? I'm just a regular person expressing a hardship through words. But the words find me. I took them away nice and neat until I find the time to speak. There you go. Should I just keep going? Forever? Forever and ever and ever? Another, another 20 minutes? <laughs> I'm down. Alright, I'll let someone else. Just get, you know, let, let, let other people go. Thank you guys for listening to me rant for the past minute. Yeah!